I am up. Today is Wednesday, June 1st, 2022. Just ran downstairs to get my pants that I'm going to be wearing to work today because I did pick up some dollar leggings from my Walmart yesterday and I feel like they're going to be perfect for me to work in this week because they're really comfortable and of course I'm going to have a shirt on that is um, appropriate but today is June 1st, 2022 and it is my first um, day of work. It is my first day of work. It is actually seven something in the morning. I woke up at six o'clock this morning. I had my devotions. I spent the time with the Lord. I haven't ate anything. I haven't drank anything yet. I should probably drink a bottle of water, but I'm about to hop in the shower before I get myself and the kids ready for the day. And um, I start work at eight o'clock. I want to start at eight. Casey has to be at the bus at 8.05. So I'm gonna see if a neighbor can walk her over with his daughter, but I am heading to the shower. I just wanted to come in really quickly to start this video. This video is going to be a day in the life of my first day of work. Um, I'm not too sure what I will be able to really record, but I will take you guys with me. Even if you guys cannot hear what I'm saying, trust me, I'm taking you guys along this journey because I want to document how this whole thing has happened. So yeah, let me hop in the shower real quick. What's going on? Good morning, everyone. Today is June 1st, 2022, and it is officially my first day of work. <sighs> my first day of work, I'm working from home. As you guys can see, I am in my master bedroom. I am working from home. From home, um, little man is here because he is in intermission until he starts pre-K. But I do have a solution for that. I do have someone um, who is going to m keep him occupied while I do meetings and while I do a bulk of my work. But it's still quite early. Um, so he's here eating his breakfast until that transition takes place. But I am about to log in. It's 8.31. I wanted to be on at 8, but it's raining. The bus was late, so... I had to make sure my baby was good and my lip of the day i'm going to try this out while i'm working from home is the ulta beauty juice infused lip oil and this is in i don't know what color this is in but this is how it looks um 
I the latest I want to start work is nine o'clock. So I'm trying to give little man 30 minutes and see if he is ready to transition up and out of my space so that I can get into work. But I wanted to come in really quickly just to reflect and to think about how I'm feeling. I am really feeling um, indifferent. Yes, I really did not expect this. I didn't expect to... Um, I didn't expect to get a job i didn't expect to land this opportunity so i'm really grateful and thankful for if this video goes up onto my channel then by then you will know where i am working you will know what i am doing and all of that jazz so i want to preface this video by saying that i am thankful for this opportunity and i shouldn't say that i'm thankful for the opportunity what i should say is that i am thankful that i was able to work um diligently as an intern um to get this opportunity so guys as of today i am officially on staff at the nasw new jersey chapter good morning guys day two i am about to upload the video from yesterday but i wanted to come in and insert this right here right quick so i can let you guys know that although i was offered a job at my former place of internship i still had to apply interview and do everything else that anyone else applying for that same position and role had to do i just want to put that out there because i don't want it to be misconstrued that you will go to an internship you will do really well and that you will be handed a job you still have to apply for these jobs i know multiple people who has did the lateral or you know the transition from intern to staff and they had to interview i know people who were told about a job position, they interviewed and they didn't get it. So it is what it is. If you are working your butt off or if you are doing your job as an intern and you are offered an opportunity to stay on staff, you will have to interview based on where you are working. I don't know, every job market may be different, but for my internship, I had to interview. So I just wanted to insert that. I keep saying that I'm grateful for this opportunity like it was handed to me, but I still had to do the work and I wanted to put that out there. So. Carry on with the video. Okay, that is where I am transitioning into, um, you know, working. And I am really excited because I had a great time as an intern there. I vibed really well with the team and I saw the mission, but I also saw things that could be added to the mission things to make it better as a social worker, especially a fresh one. I want to make things better. I want social workers that are coming after me to say wow this is a profession that i desire to be in right when you hear people talk about their whys and how they got into social work a lot of people get into social work because of a happenstance right um something happened and led them here but i truly believe that this profession needs to get to a place where people desire it more than we already see right um the bureau of labor and statistics um, has done some research and they believe that this profession is going to grow by 23 or 32 percent by um 2032 or 12 percent by 2032 that's where that number came from so i think that is really important for us as social workers especially those that are in the macro space for us to start to cultivate a profession that is desirable to others so yes I have on my social workers run policy shirt um it's actually one of the shirts from the chapter it's the shirt that i took to new jersey with me no not new jersey to atlanta with me it was one of the shirts that i wore i'll insert a picture of when i went to atlanta as a intern but i'm super excited to be um part of this team so i am about to drink my tea and i am going to start um I'm gonna start working. I am gonna set up my other camera so that I could vlog. I don't know how much footage I'll be able to get, but I plan on doing that. But guys, yeah, I just wanted to come in really quickly um, to say hi. It is my first day, I'm excited. And if you are wondering what my role is, I did do a video um, last week or the week before, basically saying what job titles I was researching for, 
for jobs. So I am the engagement coordinator. Um, yes, I am a social worker by profession and by degree, but I am an engagement coordinator. And I think that it's safe to say here that this is where I am going to start my micro series because we need more social workers in the space we need more social workers to do non-traditional jobs so that we can get the policies and that we can get the funding and that we can get the um change that we desire to see in this profession so let me drink my tea so that i can get myself logged in for my first day but i am going to take you guys along with me for the journey all right so the first thing i need to do is write out my agenda for the day so for today i need to update my update my signature no i need to log into day four uh, log into day four change email signature set up voice memo set up voice memo I had an actual phone line or is it something your computer? It's to my computer. my first day and I am working on my onboarding I don't really know what we do in Ring Central but I'm gonna say that I am available But I am starting my day. I am about to do some onboarding things, I believe. So, uh, I don't know. Did I ever show you guys these, these expensive paperweights from Fordham? This is what this is what I got. <laughs> but about to start my first day of work. One thing I want to share with you guys before I get started is it's always important to print out your um, job duties so that you can have them readily available at your disposal as you work through your day, as you work through your first few months so that you can stay on task and on track. Where is my Apple Pencil? I need to get my Apple Pencil, but have a good day. Um, have a good day. Um, yeah, have a good day, guys. It's been real. I'll talk to you later. Oh my God. Guys, the rain is crazy. So I'm making a list of the things that I need to upload into Dayforce. I've never used this. I don't know what this is. And I am about to go into my onboarding. So it's been a pleasant day so far. Um, I can't submit 
that, so I need to save this as a draft. Okay, I'm gonna save successfully. So, yeah, I'm just trying to get things done, but it's my first day and I am. I should have absolutely decided to come to the office because they're they're trenching my yard. Oh, hi, Christina. I'm Mark. Hi, Razia. Nice to meet you, Mark. Razia, welcome hi, back. Mark, good to meet you. Welcome, friends. So, welcome back, Razia. Good to see you. Hi, everyone. Welcome back, Razia. Thank uh, you, Mark. Razia was a student with us in the last semester, and today is her first day back as an official NASW employee, so we're really excited. Awesome. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, that's awesome. Welcome back, and also to the working world. <laughs> <laughs> More student time, Razia. No. Now you have uh, one, one less thing to focus on. Papers. That's not true. So hey guys, so so far so good for today. Um, I did take you guys along, I think two meetings. I have had three meetings. Um, today's a really quiet day for me because I'm doing a lot of onboarding thing, like you know, I9s, W4s, direct deposit setup, beneficiary, things like that. So it's not really a lot of busy movement going on. I am about to start doing some other things that I have to do um, so that I can be ready to go. I have one meeting that I have notes for, so I want to go and purchase, like, well, not purchase anything. I have an iPad that I'm planning on using a lot of, so I'm going to make separate notebooks in my good notes so that I can be organized for tasks because I don't want to have all my tasks all over the place. So the things that I have to do for like membership, the things that I have to do for student engagement, the things that I have to do for Delaware, um, cause I do work for the New Jersey chapter, but my executive director is the executive director of the Delaware chapter. So there's a lot of, um, cross, not cross, but like, it's a lot of, you know, a two for one, basically. Like sometimes you get to do things on both sides and it helps you to just navigate those spaces. One of the first things that I want to jump into head first with is reading up on reg regulations for social workers. So I have that on my tracker as something that I really want to spend this week doing, like reading up on reg regulations, having them on my desktop, having them on my computer, having them re readily available 
and probably color coding and highlighting them so that I can be able to have access to information when people ask me. I want to be a knowledgeable and competent social worker, especially in this space, because I'm going to be working with other social workers. So back to the day in the life, I am going to take you guys on lunch with me when I do take my lunch. But for right now, I'm trying to figure out, um, finalize some documentations, and then I will take lunch. close off this video it was a, a good day but I'm tired I'm tired I'm ready to put my kids in bed and get my life together so I can do this all over again tomorrow I think I took away three things from today I don't know why I put up four fingers but I took away three things from today the first thing I took away is that it's okay to be nervous it's okay to be scared it's okay to feel like do I have what it takes but it is not okay to stay there so today I started the day out really just grat grateful and in a place of gratitude for the opportunities that were presented to me but then as I started to simmer into the day imposter syndrome started to like peak its ugly head and I had to start telling myself like it's okay to do do it scared it's okay to do it nervous it's okay to do it feeling like man I don't think I deserve this right and I think oftentimes we discredit ourselves more than anything we discredit ourselves from what we can do, what we are capable of doing, or what should come our way. And in the imposter syndrome video, I had affirmations. Um, and one of them was everything that is promised to Razia is coming to Razia. And I had to say that today, that everything that I'm dealing with right here, everything that's presented to me, this job opportunity, is because it was promised to me. Um, the second thing I had to remind myself um, today was just that you know hard work pays off um hard work pays off my very first internship was horrible okay i don't usually tell people that i usually just say it was it was an experience but to be quite honest it was a horrible experience <laughs> and i made it do what it do but i remember just feeling so annoyed and so unappreciated and so just like yo what is this and to come into a new experience where I was appreciated, where um, my gifts made room for me. And not only did my gifts make room for me, but I was valued as an intern, right? My executive director, at, like she's still my executive director now that I work there, but she 
always made sure that she let me know when I was doing a good job. Um, and I don't, she doesn't know me from anywhere. So she didn't know that that was something that I needed. But I think that God was intentional about allowing my first internship to fall through the cracks so that I can go into a place where they can nurture something in me that I really needed, right? I always knew that I had the potential and the capacity to be an amazing social worker and to be an amazing social work student and to be a amazing, amazing intern. But my first internship really, it, 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 it was an experience. Um, so today I had to remind myself that I worked hard and that my hard work paid off and my gifts made room for me. And the last thing that I had to tell myself oh, today, I had to laugh a lot. I had to laugh and I had to look at the growth. I think sometimes we always look at our past um, mistakes or where we were months ago or a year ago or two years ago and find ourselves afraid to really like look at it with a microscopic lens and today I did that I looked back at the Razia that started her first internship um last two years ago and I'm looking at the Razia now right the Razia that went into the NASW as an intern and is now an employee and I say all of this to say that like apply yourself apply yourself apply yourself my first day was really chill there wasn't a lot going on. You're going to see that the, the, the video, the day in the life was really just me recording this first day so that I could have it. Um, and it was a real chill day. I did forms. I did onboarding. I had like one, no, two little meetings. Not little, but I had two meetings. Um, I was able to say hi to a team that I worked with and meet some new people. And I was able to just reflect, you know, as you're doing in, um, intake paperwork, onboarding, I should say paperwork, you reflect on the fact that, okay, now things are changing, right? Now, when you, when you go on the website and you see, oh man, I'm on the website, I really work here, you know, and I'm grateful for the opportunity. And I'm not going to say that I, I'm grateful for the opportunity. Like I got a job because I worked hard and I'm thankful that my work ethics um, and my skills and my potential and what I can bring to the table was validated, affirmed, and valued by my former, former, former um, supervisor. Um, she was my internship. She was my field supervisor. So field supervisor turned real supervisor. Um, so I say all of this to say that I just came in to really close it out. I'm ready to take a shower, but get into my shirt. It says social workers run a policy so you know what that means you see my dslr back there but i'm about to hop in the shower um and call it a day but this video will go up tomorrow and i'm super excited so if you guys are a social worker or you are a social work student and you want to know more about the nasw do not hesitate to hit me up i will be elated to talk to you about the organization, talk to you about my chapter, talk to you about my position within the chapter and how it can benefit you as an individual. I know that there's a lot of talk out there, but I tell people all the time, educating yourself and seeing what's in it for you and how something works for you makes the world of a difference. So until next time, guys, Peace.